Hello everyone, I am Bee Bunny. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are doing a shell challenge called Poppy's Crazy Houses, which is pretty accurate actually it's pretty accurate um and this is by sim life for poppy who is sim life for jen's daughter uh now just real quick before we get into this uh you might have noticed there is a random second floor on the main building on this lot and that's because i temporarily lost my mind that's not a part of the shell i was just adding it on i deleted it afterwards when i realized hey that is probably breaking the rules because you're not really allowed to add uh, floors to shell challenges in general as far as what I understand. Now there were also several wall segments just kind of randomly in these buildings as well that you were not allowed to delete or change but I did figure that you could add wall segments to them and make them into rooms. So I do that for several of them. Other ones, I just kind of work around and use them as inspiration. Uh, this, this shell actually really stumped me for quite a while. I'm not kind of new at doing shell challenges. I've only done one previously before this one. This one was a doozy to pick for my second, I have to say. It was very, very challenging, especially figuring out how to roof uh, these, 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 these uh, triangular, angled buildings on the outside here that was that was an interesting struggle i do cut out a lot of my struggle just because this video would be probably three times as long even sped up <laughs> if i didn't cut some things out but i did finally settle on when I was looking at these different buildings on the lot I did finally settle on a theme and I decided I was going to design the this house uh, furnish this house with a couple in mind and the couple is uh, two women who are either married or in a long-term relationship obviously they're sharing a house and one of them is a famous artist a famous painter very successful and the other one is a a flower arranging enthusiast a, a plant enthusiast uh, so I decided to use the kind of the second biggest building on the lot as a greenhouse and then these two smaller uh, angular shaped buildings as one is going to be a gallery for the painter sim to uh, show off her latest works uh, and the other one is going to be her studio uh, so i left the gallery portion of this pretty blank um, you'll see when we go into there i'm just doing a little bit of landscaping you will see in this video how i kind of pop back and forth between landscaping and furnishing and landscaping and furnishing <laughs> because i just have to like i don't know i just i guess i'm just a little bit Oh, what is the term? It's just a little bit scattered when building. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm tired of furnishing. Let's go back outside and, and do some more to the landscaping. I can't do it all at once, especially on, this is a big lot. This is a 40 by 40 lot. And I actually normally don't build on lots this big or houses this big. So this is really, really stretching me out of my comfort zone. And this is a bit of a longer video, even with it sped up, it just took me a while. I mean, I worked on this for probably three days, obviously not three days. <laughs> That's straight. I took breaks, but it was hours uh, of, of working on this, and uh, I'm a pretty slow builder. I and With this one, I, I could get a bit indecisive. I do cut a lot of my indecisiveness out, but you can see some of it here. So we're working on the greenhouse right now, and I did kind of picture this being full of flowers. Um, we've got our bees, we've got our bugs in there, and then I'm just decorating this little flower arranging station. I do end up changing the roof design because as pretty as that is coming through um, the very ornate iron in the roof as pretty as that is it did get a bit like I couldn't really see what I was doing in there and I thought that might be annoying to play with in the afternoons so as you see I change it to kind of the bigger window pane design there because I thought that was less intrusive when playing um, so the greenhouse is almost done pretty much and here I'm just working on this is going to be the little um, gallery the home gallery and I kept it blank because I 
wanted there to be room for paintings for the sim that the sim actually makes to put on these walls and i figured that she you know once every couple of months she might have friends over she might have buyers over like if this was oh, if this was the sims 2 and we could have a retail uh, store at home, you know, though they had those at home businesses, I so would have made this that because I could imagine her selling her artwork here in her little studio outside of her home. But since we can't do that, it's more just gotta pretend. <laughs> so maybe she invites over buyers or just friends and has little soirees. I didn't include this in the actual build uh, video, uh, but I do add like a bar out there, out back and a, you know a little patio area for for people to hang out after they're looking at the art or while they're looking at the art I just figured she would have little parties like that uh, so here I was <laughs> deleting the second floor like oh that's against the rules and kind of redoing the roofs here I do put a little garden area on top of the roof there that eventually gets filled with flowers as I just figure our uh, the flower enthusiast sim <laughs> that she is very she is very very into flowers and one thing I was thinking about was it might be it might sound a little odd but I was thinking that the artist was very neat it, everywhere except for her studio when we go we're going into her studio now um, and you see I made these kind of random walls into a little room it's eventually going to be a bathroom but her studio is cluttered definitely and that's kind of where she just lets her artistic expression kind of explode out of her so so there's lots of canvases around there's lots of there's several easels there's you know kind of a cozy place to sit by the fireplace and things like lots of rugs and and just kind of explosion and then there's plants I just figure her wife or her girlfriend brought uh, brought plants in for her like flowers and to decorate her space so but I feel like this is like the only place that she lets herself get a little bit messy um, but everywhere else in the house she's very neat and, and orderly and, and this is because because I thought I wanted you know at first when I was looking at these shapes of this of this the shell I was thinking oh I've got to go modern right because of the unique shapes of the, especially of these outbuildings and you know trying to make the the main part of the house interesting to look at on the outside I thought I gotta go modern but I quickly realized that I didn't want to furnish it very modern I mean I guess it's probably a mix it, it's more eclectic though uh, I would say uh, than than modern so it's kind of just this mix I use a lot of like industrial pieces a lot of stuff from eco lifestyle and uh, a lot of color I definitely wanted there to be a lot of color but I feel like uh, the the sim who is it really into flowers she would have put plants everywhere I mean there are some plants in the house uh, but she wanted to more and more and more. I figure she is more of a cluttered person and and that the artist is, is definitely, she wants her home to be less frantic and, and, and more just kind of cleaned up. So things aren't very cluttered actually in the house. Um, I did, I didn't do like a whole lot of like kitchen clutter or, or things like that. There are little places where you can see the gardener sim <laughs> touch where it's just a little bit more cluttered around. But for, for the main part of it, I just thought she, the, the painter sim, she would have everything. Everything would be in its place. Everything would be hidden away in cabinets or, or whatnot, in closets, etc., etc. That she was more of a neat person. So I think we are finishing up here in the artist studio and i'm gonna see now i go back to work on the outside <laughs> get some windows going i believe here in a second <laughs> so i'm trying to i'm trying to figure out how to make i always struggle with how to make like a big box look interesting on the on the outside so i tried to make the roofs a little interesting you know i added that little area on top 
over the doorway, which actually the doorway does eventually get moved because I realized I wanted that little entranceway to be a dining room rather than an entranceway. So eventually the doorway does get moved. But for right now, there's that little area on top that I've just got the green grass painted on there right now. And I'm going to add a whole bunch of flowers. I don't think that's in the footage just because it, it just was tedious it just took forever <laughs> so i was just i just didn't put that in in the video because it's already pretty pretty long so this is one thing i have recently started doing more is making my archways out of uh gosh what, oh my god the word just like just completely left my brain but you can see what i'm doing <laughs> i'm using the was it is it called a trellis maybe oh gosh i oh no 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 it's some word oh my god i'm just i i should have looked this up before i started this uh voiceover because i knew i was gonna talk about this but anyway i recently started doing more of this i saw a lot i did i don't believe i've got the video up yet but it's going to be soon i did this um collab with a bunch of simmers that sim life for jen uh put together and where we all, each built a room for her to make a house out of and it actually ends up being several houses but i digress uh and i saw a lot of people's rooms she she did, uh, did a room tour and i will link to that if you're interested in watching it uh she did a tour of all the rooms and a lot of people use these kind of uh Oh, whatever the word is, you can see what I use. The thing that goes outside above the porch, <laughs> usually. Anyway, they use them to make bigger archways instead of the archways that are actually in game. And I, I just love that. So I recently, I used this in a technique in a build I did for Mary Sue for my Let's Play, the single mom and stranger build, stranger build, <laughs> the single mom and stranger build build and I uh, just use it like once in the kitchen but I decided I wanted to use it a lot more in this house uh, just because I think it gives it a unique feature that I don't typically use so I was really really inspired by a lot of the different builders in that collab using that technique to make bigger archways uh, to lead out of the rooms so we are just working on the kitchen here and again I just wanted it to be clean and <laughs> a little bit a li I guess a little bit industrial ish you know um, I just definitely wanted an artsy vibe I figure both sims the the painter and and the flower enthusiast the flower arranger i'm not sure if it's a hobby for her or if it's actually like a career or maybe she's working on making it a career i see her as a little bit younger um i i, and I actually made a couple of sims just so because i knew i needed to have a sim in this house to do the tour later and so i actually made a couple of sims that kind of fit along with my storyline and i i see her as a little bit younger uh than the artist and uh, but i figure they're both very creative people they're and and they're both colorful people. They, they want bright spots of color. Oh, so here I am building a little planter out of a roof segment. I saw this on a video a long time ago. It was, I believe it was a build by Simmerclaw. And I saw her do this in her landscaping and it just blew my mind that you can use that circle roof and, you know, put a big, a big roof trim around it and make it into a planter and back then uh, we didn't have the green roofs yet with eco lifestyle um, but now that we do I thought oh my god that's perfect so I had to do that definitely and then for here I'm just doing like a little rock garden I know this isn't the desert we're actually in Brindleton Bay um, and I guess that's more of a desert landscaping uh, thing but when I was just like googling some pictures of modern landscaping I saw a lot of these kind of rock gardens and I really wanted one on the outside because I figured I wanted the yard the landscaping to look neat and purposeful and definitely not wild and overgrown because I imagine our gardener <laughs> tends it very well uh, you know so I wanted to everything looked to look like it was specific to specifically to be there nothing was on accident everything was very very planned and i figure you know maybe maybe the gardener would have a little bit of a wilder garden but that the artist was more like no we want to keep it you know neat and and specific and uh intentional that's the word i'm looking for intentional 
<laughs> so that's why I did that and we are in the dining room now I don't do a whole lot we're out of the dining room now I'm sorry I'm late here I don't do a whole lot of decorating inside like I said but for each piece of art that I put on the walls I wanted it to be like our painter could have painted that could have created that or you know one of her friends did, one of her artist friends did or you know she's supporting it's part of a collection she's supporting other artists I wanted it to be like a, a person could have painted that so there's not a lot of like photographs or or things of that nature as far as the wall art is concerned it, it mostly is is stuff that looks painted I think there's a couple of things that don't quite fit but on the majority if it's all things that could have been painted that you could imagine that our sim or one of her friends created um, I definitely because this is a big yard I wanted a pool and I just thought it was fun I know this is this random mermaid tail that's from the debug items um, from island living and it's right in the middle of the pool but I just wanted something fun like that just something unique I just thought there's a lot of this house is very unique the the shape of of the house is very unique and I just wanted to make sure that there were little things like that in the yard inside that celebrated that theme <laughs> of, of being very very unique uh, and let's see I think after I finish lighting up this area we are done with the pool Now I'm going and I'm working on kind of the main living lounge area and I quickly decided because it was such a long, um, because when I was doing the, the, the room planning this was such a long, not really narrow but kind of narrow that I did want to split it up and I always like builds that have that are big enough when you're big enough where you can put like a little fireplace on in the inside. Now I quickly realized I forgot to put I just realized <laughs> I forgot to put a chimney on this roof. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so I guess if you download it, you're going to have to add a chimney uh, if you want to be authentic. But you know, since it's just for decoration, I guess it's not. It's not an emergency. I don't need to take it off the gallery <laughs> and fix it and put it back up. <laughs> so I've already put this on the gallery, so it, it's up there. <laughs> but I do like the uh, that uh, fireplace detail uh, with the walls in the in the middle. That the kind of splits up the space so we've got this this back area that is more for the family uh, for them to relax and obviously guests or, or what have you but the entrance way will go into a separate area kind of on the other side where the fireplace is and there'll be you know a couple of chairs and so you can kind of invite somebody comes to your door you can invite them in to sit down and shot without going into kind of the main family area here So I'm not sure if I am going to talk throughout this whole thing. It is quite long, but I'll keep talking as long as I have things to say. <laughs> um, I did, yeah, I just, I just, there's a lot of indecisiveness that I cut out of this video, I have to say. There is a, a lot of it, but you can still see some where I'm just struggling to figure out how to decorate it what what wall coverings I want to put up and I did end up using a lot of that brick and I know the house isn't brick so it doesn't make a huge amount of sense but I figure you know they've got like wallpaper that is designed to look like brick nowadays so that even if you don't have like exposed brick like your house isn't brick so you can't have that exposed brick you could still have wall covering that kind of mimics that so I figured it was fine that they could do that that was no problem so I hear I'm just making yeah that little cozy area that when you first walk into the door that you see and I did play test this by the way I did play test this and it's it's very cute because 
you know, I used to, maybe I never had chairs close enough to the fireplace, but when I used to play with uh, having fireplaces in my build and I would have, you know, have them light the fireplace and warm themselves, they would just stand up in front of the, the fireplace, which just made so, no sense to me. Um, but now they do. I, when I was play testing this and I had, I lit the, you know, I lit the fireplace and, 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 the, and I said to warm themselves and they did sit in the chair for the fireplace, both here and out in the, uh, the art studio. Um, so I was very pleased about that because that just seemed more realistic to me for to have the Sims do that. So here I'm just making this little study outside of the lounge area kind of off to the side and again I use that archway to have the entrance to it and I really really like this room. I think this room kind of shows the difference in personalities between the two women, whereas, you know, I'm cluttering up one of the desks as I figure that's the gardener's area. And she has a lot of things on her, on the wall behind her computer and like the artist, she's just got her business cards <laughs> and her light, you know? And then she does uh, end up, I end up putting those, the skateboards right there from the painted skateboards from Parenthood. I love those things and I do figure like that is something that she made that she painted the skateboards and put it together as an art piece so I I definitely uh, thought that would be like the one decoration she would put maybe that was like one of her early pieces that she did when she was younger so I I, re I really like that room I really like how it turned out and how it shows the personalities of the sims that I had in mind uh, that that are living here so we are doing the master bedroom now and putting that oh my god I cannot remember where I saw I saw this I did not come up with this on myself by myself on my own um, but using that dine out restaurant sign that you can you know you can actually like decorate it with different neon lights and things like that to make your own restaurant sign on the side of a building using that as a headboard for a bed I saw that somewhere and it, it's been ages ago and I can't remember where so if, if you were the person that came up with that that was awesome <laughs> that was awesome so I love how that looks and I've always really liked the idea of like the headboard with the side tables that are kind of attached so I was really excited that I was able to do that for this build um, I just really like how that looks I do think it brings a little bit of modernness to kind of the color colorful eclectic style that we have going on here and we definitely wanted our big walk-in closet I figured that would be great for the painter Sam that she could keep all of her clothes hidden away and everything is is very neat and tidy and then there's just a little place where you can sit and get ready in front of the mirror if you want to and all of that good stuff and then I think the last room we have to do look at me I am gonna talk throughout the whole thing aren't I <laughs> the last thing that we have to do is the bathroom so I, this is an extra big bathroom and probably bigger than I normally would make a bathroom but because of the walls that were initially put in to this build that I could not change um, that's how th it ended up being so I was like oh my gosh I've got an opportunity to make like uh, a, a double shower headed shower <laughs> I think I'm sure it's called something else you know but more it looks like more of a luxurious shower and gosh using those university I swear the university shower heads that's so awesome I'm so glad they gave that to us because you could do so many more creative things with showers because we have those so I was able to make this double shower now I haven't tried to make the married couple shower together I don't know if you can do that if your relationship is higher enough to do that but I figure hey it, you know at least it's like for visuals you know it looks good so I really 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 like this bathroom I think it just looks like a uh, such a nice place to relax like in that tub and you've got that little secret nook there not a secret it's not a secret <laughs> it's right there it's not a secret <laughs> but it's behind that little half wall so you have that little nook for your for your bath and and then the big shower that you can really really take your space in and and all of that good stuff so that is it for the actual build I believe there are a few things that I added in after oh here I'm just adding in a few more plants <laughs> But there are a few things that I added in after I finished building because of course I thought I forgot the mailbox 
and I forgot the kitchen bin. So, and I think there was like a little bit of a missing wallpaper somewhere, but we're just doing a quick uh, tour in tab mode right now. So we're going to just go through the house and I think I'm going to just let you guys enjoy the tour because I'm tired of talking and I can't think of anything else to say. I'm sure as soon as I stop this, I will think of something else to say that I want to tell you about this build. But anyway, it is up on the gallery under my gallery ID, B12 Bunny. And oh my gosh, I would love it if more people did this shell. I know it's it's a bit weird. <laughs> it's, it is definitely a challenge, but I really would love to see what other people come up with. So I will leave the information below where you can find it. I think there's a hashtag or maybe I will add this on screen right now because I cannot think of the actual hashtag to search for under the gallery to find it. But it's also under uh, Sim Life for Jen's gallery ID uh, so that you can go to her gallery ID and find it as well. It's called Poppy's Crazy Houses. And I sure hope I made Poppy proud. <laughs> I hope you I hope you like what I did with your show, Poppy. And definitely check out Sim Life for Poppy channel she is adorable she has some really adorable content and you will really enjoy it there and also sim life for Jen's channel I am constantly on her channel uh, watching especially watching her uh, simpocalypse LP it's so much fun so definitely check both of them out thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give me a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We are on the road to 100 subscribers, and I'm I'm so excited. I think I only need like seven more or something like that to get to 100. So if you haven't subscribed to me, I would love it if you if you would. <laughs> of course, only if you want to. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will be back with a new upload soon. Bye.